I guess game dev timed challenges make for really good YouTube videos these days. So I'm giving myself one hour to add procedural level generation to my little mining game here. And if you care, I'm using Godot 4.2 and the one hour clock has already started. So let's get it going. I'll start by creating a tile map script and then I'll generate a little 10 by 10 grid using the set tile. So that it still utilizes my auto tile. I can then run the project by clicking F5 and see that yes, indeed, I still have this ability to mine and kind of the auto tiling for Godot kicks in, which is perfect. But oh my gosh, that took 10 minutes. So I'm gonna do a little uh, corner cutting here and go back to my old 3.5 project, grab this noise generation code and just kind of yoink it and paste it into my project. And of course there's an error, but it looks like it's because in Godot 4, they changed open simplex noise to be fast noise light while also making it a bit more flexible for various noise types. And it has this method called get noise 2 dv which I can use to grab the value of the noise. So then if it's above a certain threshold, I'll go ahead and throw my uh, cave walls there. And another error. And with 15 minutes already gone, I'm just gonna come up with a different solution and we can just export the fast noise light as a variable and then add in the node into the editor, which just means I can adjust these in the user interface and not really have to understand how to modify it in the code because I don't have the time to do that. And after a bit more iteration, you can see we finally got to the point where this feels like I'm walking through a cave, which was my goal. But this camera feels a bit stale, it's just following the play around. So I'm gonna go quickly find a YouTube video. How about this one? here. Yeah, it's only three minutes long. That's absolutely perfect. So I'm going to give it a like and a nice little subscribe here. We'll grab the code and quickly implement it into a new camera script here. And now we can go ahead and test out the camera movement. All right. I actually kind of like it. It, it. It's there's like a dead zone in the middle where it drags it. And then oh, what is that jittering? Maybe that's something with my settings of how I actually scaled up the pixels to the full screen here. Let's just reset that and see what it looks like if we go ahead and run the project. Okay, uh, hard to kind of tell what's going on. Maybe if I fall off the map. Oh, yep, it's still jittering, but I, I, I only have 19 minutes left. I cannot worry about this. This is future me problem and I'm still missing my diamonds. I'm gonna quickly add those back in and oh, look, that's actually pretty easy, but they look like it's messing up the auto tiling a bit. So instead I'm gonna throw the diamonds onto their own layer and that looks pretty good. So let's try to do the same sort of thing with the bats, but instead it's gonna be where there isn't walls. We'll go ahead and throw the bats. Oh my gosh, that is way too many bats. Okay, so instead let's use RNG to generate a random float and then we'll make it like a 5% chance that a bat actually spawns on the non-wall tiles. Uh, maybe 5% was too low. Let's, oh, oh, they're there, which brings up a good point. I wanna try to fix this problem where I can fall out of the map. So I'm gonna quickly just block out the whole range as tiles and we'll come back in afterward and we'll kind of edit out the insides of the cave where we don't want there to be walls. Yep, this looks good. This is exactly what I wanted to do. I can't fault the map, but now I'm missing my diamonds. Let's zoom out and just see if we're getting unlucky with where they spawned. Um, nope, not unlucky. Let's see here. Uh, change the layering maybe a bit and, oh, nope. Now there's nothing on the end. Oh my gosh, I have less than two minutes left. Oh, uh, oh the... Oh my gosh, the if statements were in the wrong order. And in case you didn't know, ordering does matter in your programming languages. Let's run the project for hopefully the last time here, looking for diamonds. Oh, look at that. We found the diamonds. Oh my gosh. I, I'll be honest with you. I came into this little challenge a little cocky, thinking it would be super easy, and it did come down to the wire. I'd love to hear what you think I should add next, either down in the comments or over in my Discord. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you learned something new and maybe even got inspired to try out a mini project like this in Godot for yourself. I have been Aramis. Have a great day.